In this DT challenge, we're creating fun programs using the Scratch programming language. Let's take a look and see how it works. When you start with Scratch, here's what you see. There's three different parts of the screen that you need to know about. The stage, the canvas, and the code blocks. The stage is where you see your program working. And you can see that at the moment, the stage is pretty dull. It's just plain white. We can change that later. The stage does have something on it though, a beetle. That's called a sprite. And we can make the sprites do things with our code. So how do you make your programs? Over here on the left side, see these colored circles? That's where you find all the different coding blocks you can use in Scratch. For example, these blue ones are all of the blocks related to motion. The purple ones change how sprites look. The pink ones are about making sounds. There's loads to explore. To use any of these code blocks, you drag it to the middle part of the Scratch screen, which is called the canvas. Let's take a quick look at the canvas. You'll notice that there's a beetle shown here in the corner of the canvas. That means that the instructions you build here will affect what the beetle does. All we do is drag a block of code to the canvas and then click it. And look, we can make the beetle move around on the stage. You build more complicated and interesting programs by connecting a few different instructions together. And when we click them, well, you see what happens on the stage. It's always a good idea to begin your code with an event. These yellow blocks over here, they're called the events. They run your code when something else happens. One we use often says, when the green flag is clicked. So now, when we click the green flag up here, the code runs. You can also change the way the beetle looks by clicking on costumes. You can do things like change the color of the sprite, add some spots, even add some text. There are also sound effects. We won't be using those a lot in this challenge, but feel free to explore in your own time. Another important thing you can do in Scratch is add more sprites. You do this by clicking on the Add Sprite button down here. Scratch comes with many sprites already loaded for you. Let's add a banana. Beetles love bananas. You can see that the banana has no instructions yet, but the beetles instructions that we added earlier, they're still there. When I click the green flag, the beetle moves, but the banana does nothing because it has no instructions. We need to add some. That's better. The stage does look pretty boring at the moment, but we can change that by clicking on the backdrop button. And again, Scratch has done the hard work for us by including a lot of really fun backgrounds for you to use. I think this should be a moon beetle. Yeah, that's more like it. Well, we hope you enjoy your coding adventures. Get going and have fun.